Here comes Flanagan. Ben Flanagan. Ben Flanagan. Ben Flanagan, how you doing? Uh, doing great. What's up, what's up? Welcome to my place. You can do some uh, pre-workout fueling and hopefully we'll have a good workout today. So come on in. Breakfast today, aka breakfast every day. Toast, stoke. Today we are going coffee macadamia, which I would say is definitely in tied for my top three favorites. So we got Another coffee macadamia. This is this one's got the linden and two collab, which is kind of fresh. We are gonna go with coffee with some coffee because for the six mile time run, you really uh, can't get enough coffee before it. So and this is stuff that if anyone was visiting me anywhere and I wasn't in Ann Arbor, I would ask them to bring. Ruse Roast, Roast, local shop down the road. Lobster butter love. It's magical. Honestly, this is like I'm not joking around. I actually literally eat this shit every day. Um, it's pretty, I mean, in my mind, it's kind of a perfect amount of food for like sitting well and like, you know, feeling fuel for the day. Um, there's two things I used to do that now I don't do anymore. One is I used to not eat at all. 100% would not recommend. And then secondly, I used to do pretty much the same thing here, but use peanut butter. And not only stoke just tastes way better, which I love it for, but it's also got more nutrients, so I feel like I'm a little bit more fueled and not sustained for the whole workout, which is sick as well. So I keep coming back for more. And last touch is a little banana because, you know, everyone needs a little bit of potassium in their life. Got lots of practice doing this and we'll be all set for the day. It's really about getting an even spread, you know? You don't want too many bananas on this side, too many bananas on that side. We got one to ferry at 8.30. Um, we're gonna go run to a nice like temple spot we'd like to do. We'll be heading over there at like 8.30, 7.30 now, so we'll just chill. I'm gonna watch some Bloomberg here. Uh, take Norman over here for a quick spin. I try to just relax in the mornings. I, I do some activation stuff, maybe a little bit of strength stuff, but I usually save that stuff for afterwards too, so this is like actually low key. One of my favorite parts of the day, it's just quiet. Just hang out, enjoy my food and coffee, and just get ready to rip. This is Norman here. He's a good boy. As you can see, he's got all his Friends around him. All right, come on, let's go. Let's buckle you in. Oh boy, that didn't work. I'm still figuring this out too. So, one, two. Oh, see, it's easy. Bro, tell me I just put this on backwards. All right, we're gonna have to reset this. Give me one second, buddy. There we go. All right, you ready? There you go. Done. First try. Food bags. One for each of us. Let's do it. Oh, be nice day. Oh my goodness. Loves the camera. Off to practice. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, heading the track now, so. Uh, relaxation is mostly over and now time to uh, get to work for the day. Yeah, relaxation is not over for you. You got all day of it. Back to it. Just more for it. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do today. Good day. You only have to do anything for five more days. So. Okay, so... What's good for you guys? They'll be, they'll be fun, whatever we do. With them. So where's Hawks? He's not here yet. First of all. Okay, as long as he's coming here, I didn't know if he was going up to the Woo! Hey, yeah, alright, we're kicking at uh, North Campus here. This is probably one of the more hilly routes we have in campus, so uh, we're gonna rock a six mile timed run. My guess is we'll start around five minute pace and cut down a bit. Uh, we're gonna go, go jog to a couple of our historic hills, the Arb. Uh, Harvard Bridgeway, and then finish up with some quarters on the track, TBD, if everything's feeling good. So, it's gonna be a day, but uh, we'll just start with one thing at a time. Dangerous angle. Shorts are pretty short. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking we'll probably start, like, maybe mid to high 450s.
so we're back at the apartment outside now. Kind of a nice place, a little bougie, as Luke was saying a second earlier, but nice for here, so we might take a dip after the workout. Um, but uh, a pretty big session today, honestly. It's about 15 miles, a little bit of everything. We started with, uh, uh, sorry, um, started with a tempo, six miles. We ended up kind of ripping a bit. Uh, 2911 Arb, which is a K hill. Did a couple fast hill sprints and then finish on the track with six by 400, kind of float around like starting at 66, got down to 64s. So, yeah, I'm pretty beat. Peanut butter just doesn't, doesn't quite cut it nowadays anymore. So, I bring these on the road with me, but I actually eat them like this after a session too. I just slurp them up. So, it's pretty good. And then I, I try to get a meal in like within an hour of the day. So, that's what we'll be doing next. Today is just gonna be a smoothie and an egg sandwich. So it really can't be yeah. that big of a disaster, but we'll see. Okay, I have some explaining to do. So, <laughs> I guess I should have addressed this this morning with like the 1,800 wine bottles. I didn't even notice that. I'm in Mayhem and I got engaged and we obviously had some drinks, but my mom was in charge of getting alcohol and clearly went a bit overboard. So we have, <laughs> We do not usually have 12 wine bottles and 15 billion Budweiser's. So slowly, slowly picking away at those because it's not really a part of my um, nutrition routine, but it's also not, not part of my nutrition routine. So post-workout, I basically try to get in a big meal, make sure I'm not like under fueling. And I try to just make sure I'm getting in a protein and then B everything else. So I try to like kind of have like a diverse nutrition plan, I guess, but I don't know. As a runner, like I kind of default to the things that I A like to taste of, B can easily make, and C um, to just sit well. So I'm gonna make a chocolate banana smoothie. So a little bit of Greek yogurt, chocolate milk, bananas. And that's probably it, honestly. Another banana for the day. We're not going to be short on potassium. Chocolate stoke. Whenever I'm doing a chocolate smoothie, I like putting this stuff in there. Ronnie's chocolate milk that he brought over the other day. Let me keep. That was a nice gift. Some yogurt. Bro, just wasted this. Could have used that spoon again. More dishes for me. Rookie mistake. This is usually the protein I use. Just out of preference. Um, it's actually a veggie protein, but it is also NSF certified. That's like kind of big for me for any supplements or protein I take because it just makes sure that like it's certified for sport, which obviously if you're a tested athlete, um, it's pretty important. I should do it. Boom, look at that. Oh, not bad, eh? So, in my opinion, this just like isn't enough food, so I'm also cranking up an egg sandwich. All right, we got triple protein here, three eggs, so I'm definitely not going to be short on any protein here. Um, I've gone through a couple injuries through my career, so I try to avoid putting myself in that kind of position again by making sure I'm getting all my protein. So I love eggs. It's like probably how I get most of my protein besides chicken. I'm kind of like a bit of a brunch guy, so even though it's 11 o'clock. I guess that's still like brunch time, but I can do eggs anywhere until like 4 p.m. I mean, I'm literally just gonna put this on two pieces of toast, a little bit of ketchup, because I'm Canadian, so I can't handle any spice. Once Norman gets a whip here, he'll probably make sure I get the two and a half. He'll probably get half to him. Should be pretty good. I mean, honestly, probably a pretty brutal presentation, if you ask me, <laughs> but it gets the job done. <laughs> There she is. It's the egg to toast ratio I love. But. Oh, bro. This is gonna get sloppy. Oh my God. There we go. As good as it's gonna get. That's it? Yeah, you relax, you sit. I apologize to any viewers out there that think it's terrible to feed your dog from the table. This is the real me, right? Can you give me a high five? Thanks, buddy, yeah, you love your eggs. All right, thanks everyone for following along a day in the life. Saw what I eat, 
saw how I run, and uh, now it's time for you to leave. So I'll walk you out. See you later.